Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and today what I have for you guys are some tips on Call of Duty Black Ops 3 on how to improve your aim and how to aim better and get a bunch of better accuracy. So before I get into this video, I'd like to say make sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys are new and make sure to drop a like on this video. And thank you guys for all the support and new subscribers I've been getting recently. So let's get right into this video. I have about five or six tips for you guys to go through in about four or five and four minutes here. So let's go through them quickly on how to improve your aim. So some of these tips are going to be very beginner where you some of you guys will be like, oh, I already know that. And some of them will refresh your memory and be good tips for you guys. So the first tip is always keep the crosshairs in the middle of the screen. And this is a very simple tip for a lot of OG Call of Duty players. But for new people, it might be, you know, tricky. When you're walking up a staircase, you don't want to look straight ahead. You want to look up at where the enemy will potentially be. You always want to look at the spot where an enemy would potentially be. So if you're going around a corner and you know there's a head glitch there, you want to aim just above the head glitch. So if the guy pops out, you're not aiming down right at the barrel. You're aiming in right at his dome piece and you can take him out that is the first tip keep your crosshairs and keep your aim down sight always on the place where an enemy could be the next tip are basically just some class setup tips you want to use stock if you're using an assault rifle this really does help your aim because if you're trying to strafe on the guy you're going to also have good aim if you're trying to strafe and you don't have stock your aim is just going to go all bonkers you also obviously want to run the grip the guns i find have quite a bit of recoil in this game so if you run like a grip quick draw and stock that is the ultimate setup for an assault rifle for having good aim you can aim down sights fast around the corners you're going to have grip for that low recoil and you're also going to have stock for that those strafe shots and that's a really good tip now the biggest tip here is sensitivity and sensitivity is a big topic in call of duty black ops 3 and basically what it is is there's the first time there's the vertical sensitivity and the horizontal sensitivity so let me talk about this briefly basically i use a five on both However, if you are getting cheeky, you could have the vertical sensitivity. I don't think you really need to be that high. I mean, how much are you going to be going up and up to shoot people? It's more like turning on people. So I was rocking for a little bit a 5 vertically, and then I tried out a 9 or an 8 uh, horizontally, and that works as well too. So that's what I'd recommend if you like, you know, turning on people. Run a bit more on the horizontal one than the vertical one. And I'll show you guys here how to change your class setup. You go right in here. I'm in a private match showing you guys. You basically go in here, go into your options, and then you see you have your vertical your horizontal and you can simply just change it right there now how do i suggest finding a sensitivity that's good for you i suggest you should go in play some combat training play some bot games and then basically go keep going up and up and up and then when you get to a sensitivity that's uncomfortable for you bring it down one and then use that that is the best way to do it so if i'm going up and up and on eight and eight i feel uncomfortable i'm going to drop it down i'm going to play on seven and seven and then that's very good i like the five and five it's worked for me i've never been a super high sensitivity player and that's what I like to do so now my last two tips are here are basically for some aiming for some in-game tips what you want to do is every time you go around a corner where the potential enemy would be you want to have your sights aimed down because this will basically give you a huge advantage in the gunfight if the enemy comes out just with their gun doo -doo 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 -doo, I got my gun up hip firing and you come around aim down sights like I know there's gonna be an enemy there you're gonna win that gunfight nine times out of ten and that's a really huge advantage for you and then the next tip I would give you guys is actually to aim for the chest. Don't aim for the head unless you're going for headshots. I always aim for the chest. And right here in this gameplay, I actually die on a 23-0 and 0 for a nuked out. So that's why I was playing kind of campy. But uh, nonetheless, this gameplay is about the tips. So that's the tips I have for you guys. Make sure you guys follow these tips. Let me go over them once again. Always keep the crosshairs where an enemy is going to be. Make sure you aim down sights around corner. Make sure you're aiming for the chest unless their head is the only thing poking out above a head glitch. But don't try and aim for the head, obviously, if the enemy are right in front of you to shoot for the chest if you get a headshot great unless you're going for those camos and then obviously you want to run the quick draw stock and then the uh grip would be a great setup if you guys are looking to improve your aim if you're having troubles with your aiming then that's about it for the tips and change your sensitivity as i talked about earlier hopefully you guys did enjoy this black ops 3 tip video drop a like on it i'd really appreciate that make sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys are new let's go for 2,000 likes on this video and i'm out peace thanks for watching